peeps. I told you I was going to give you a little preview of uh, basically what I got to go through for physical therapy and all that other crap. Uh, while I'm trying to get the ankle and all that better. Um, so basically, you've seen me hobbling around. I've got to wear this boot anytime I'm doing work. Whether it's a actual work or home. This goes on the foot. Uh, my actual exercises though are without the boot other than uh, well when I'm doing the stair climbing outside uh, I don't have an actual stair climber but stairs are part of the routine uh, to try and build the strength movement mobility range of motion all that um, Basically, I'm, I'm just going to take you on a little preview of everything I got to do before I can actually get to the point of putting all my weight back on that foot and getting back to normal. Uh, so here we go. Okay, so now we're going to get into some of the exercises I got to do. Uh, I'm supposed to do this one foot at a time, but just to give you an idea of what exactly I have to go through. Uh, make it a little fun basically <laughs> turn to the left now turn to the right lift the heel up lift the toes circle it around reverse kind of like the cha-cha song but basically yeah it's like it's supposed to go around five to ten times Reverse five to ten times. You know, the, the heel lift, hold for ten seconds, which is very painful on that. Lift the toes. That gets painful too because the toes start cramping. But that, the turn to the left, try to keep my leg as straight as possible when I'm doing that. Hold that for ten. To the right, hold for ten, keep my leg as straight as possible. Uh, then there's another one where I'm supposed to spell out the alphabet, you know, capital letters. A, with the line. B, C, D. Idea, though, is try to keep my leg as straight as possible while I'm doing this. Uh, e, you know, through the whole alphabet. But you get the idea. There's some of the uh, actual indoor exercises. Uh, basically, I'll, sh I'll show you some of the other things I've been doing to uh, keep up with everything while I am out. And just so you guys know, I still get in my squats and all that. Um, I just got to do it a different way. It's what I like to call assisted squats. Basically, I have to have a counter or something by me. Uh, I'm still not able to put the full weight on yet but basically grab the counter as I'm coming down come back up you know it's not easy but it's part of the stretching all that it does help not always easy but at least I got something to keep my balance so there's part of that uh, I'm gonna do my Shoulder rotations, because not a lot of people know this, but I actually have a bad rotator cuff. Uh, this is associated to when I had my back uh, back injury, whatever you want to call it. Basically, I had a curve in my spine. It was C-shaped. I had to see a chiropractor get it straightened out. Uh, I'm sure I had that story in previous videos. Uh, will never be completely straight, and that was the actual reason. For the rotator cuff uh wasn't from any shoulder injury or anything like that it was actually related to the curve in the back but you know do those uh because of the ankle i can't do the actual neck strengthening exercises so i still do my rotations uh sometimes i'll lay on the bed do a head lifts vice versa lay on my stomach boom Lift the other way, sometimes on my side, you know, anything and everything to help. I even still managed to get my push-ups in. 
Uh, Got to do them a little differently because I'm getting up and down. But I don't know if you can see. I'm actually on my knees. I got to do them from the knees and do my push-ups this way. Basically, keep the knees bent. Still get my push-ups in. You know, got to keep working out. Build that strength. Keep that body good. Because when I make my return, I'm going to whoop some ass. That's the whole point of this. I got the time. Get in shape. Study video. Learn what I can. Even though it's not actually in ring. Uh, but I'm going to do what I have to do. <laughs> and let the devil out. So, basically, I'm hoping you guys enjoy this. Uh, getting a little inside view of what I go through now. Uh, one of the things I'm waiting on, which will begin with the strength and endurance, I'm waiting on my resistance bands to show up so I can start incorporating some more stuff into what I do here at home. Uh, plus, it's portable, so I can take it to work with me. And, Get some shit in done. Get some shit done there too, basically. So, enjoy. And just to make it clear, no prescriptions, no drugs, nothing like that. Basically, or any swelling or extreme swelling and pain, this is it. Ice pack. Ibuprofen. Use as directed. Or as needed. So. That's it. That's what they do. For an ankle injury like mine. Good thing is. Nothing broken. But muscles, tendons, ligaments. Were torn to shit. So my, my ankle basically. No broken bones, but everything around it looked like ground beef. So, that's why I'm out for a while. That's why I want to come back stronger and better than before. Okay, peeps. Basically, uh, one of the other things I wanted to add to this video was uh, my stair-stepping exercises. I usually do out back on the deck stairs. Uh, because it has the rails, allows me to brace myself if I need to. Uh, basically, what it is, is I take the good foot, walk down, followed with the bad foot, walk back up, switch feet. Uh, it's basically to help with strength exercising. Uh, not that I'm climbing any ladders or running anytime soon, but uh, that's basically what that's designed for, to help build the strength. Uh, until my resistance bands arrive next week. Um, I can start using those, build the strength. And, uh, you know, hopefully uh, by February I'll be able to get back into the gym. Depending on all this COVID crap situation, you know. Uh, anyway, I wanted to show you guys that, but it started raining. So that is definitely weather permitting. Uh, one of the other exercises I do, which I usually do in bed or here on the couch, um, it keeps my foot comfortable. Uh, it's my crunches. I mean, not your typical crunches, but work the abs any way you can. Um, you know, some of those. Um, another unique little device my wife got me, which, hold on one second, because I'm going to grab it. Builds the forearms, wrists, basically, boom, that's supposed to be turned towards me when I'm doing this. You can do a curl, wrist exercises, you know, they say 8 to 10, two sets, boom, and flip it, you know, that way, and do the opposite. One of the things that was actually on my Christmas list, my wife got this for me, and love it. 
love it. Basically, uh, I want to come back better than before. And everything I'm doing, I'm doing for a reason. Like I said, I want to come back better than before. Dominating. I am seriously going to bring out the devil and the bill. So be ready.